Let's take a look at finding the sample variance on a TI-30XS calculator. Specifically, we're going to find a sample variance of the following data. So we're going to need to enter it in. So we're going to go to our data. And I already have data here. It's actually the same numbers I'm going to re-enter, but I'm going to try to clean out the list. You can press your delete, and that'll delete uh, each individual number. Or you can press your data one more time, and it'll bring up the clear menu. You can choose clear L1 to clear it very fast. Okay, so now we're going to type in each number, pressing enter after it. So I've got 13, enter, 19, enter, 23, enter, 31, enter, 45, enter, 46, enter, 47, enter, 51, enter, and 53, enter. I definitely recommend in your stats course you use your up arrow key to go through and verify all these numbers. It's so easy to type in uh, one of them wrong. And then do a second mode exit out when you're when you're done. Now we want to go into the stat menu, which you get to by doing second button and then your data. And we want one of our stats because we've got a single list of numbers. So press enter on that. And we want L1 highlighted because that's where we put our data at and frequency is always one. And then we choose calculate. Okay, now we want sample variance. So I'm going to write this down. I think I already have it written down from when I created this on another calculator. I think, yeah, 15.1088.6421. So I've written this problem, this number down. To, um, to now um, access this, if I press clear, then I can type in 15.1088.6421. And then square it. Because sample variance is the sample standard deviation squared. And then press enter. Now, rounded two decimal places, our answer would be 228.28. You want to make sure you don't round before you square it. If I rounded that to 15.1, 15.1 squared would have gave us 228.01. So you come up with different answers. The uh, cardinal, um, well, the main rule on that. Um, and mistake people make the is that they round somewhere in the middle. Don't round in a stats problem till the very end. Okay, now that's kind of tedious to type that number in. To access the original number, um, if after you've done second data and you chose one of our stats and then you've calculated, at this point, see how there's numbers in front of all these? As I go through, see they all have numbers. Well, we want uh, number 3, the sample standard deviation. If I simply press 3, then that will bring up SX. And so then all I have to do is do my squared. So push my X squared, and then push Enter. And that will square it for me. Now to put in decimal form, which is probably not what you want, to change it from decimal form to, um, or from fraction form, I mean it comes up. We want it in decimal form. Uh, so to change it, you'd want to choose your FD option, which is above your table. So I do second table, fraction, decimal, decimal to fraction, and then press enter. And then I'll give me that. So that uh, rounds to 228.28. You can also, instead of accessing it directly there, if after you've cleared it out and it's gone, like if I push on uh, 3 now, it doesn't bring up my sample standard deviation. But if I go back into my stat menu, second data, you'll now see a third option after you've done one of our stats called stat variables. If I press 3 to choose that, the number that's in front of it, then you can access uh, you can access the standard deviation this way. So you can do 3 again, and there's your SX, and then you can do X squared and press enter. Kind of a pain it puts it in that form. I'm guessing maybe under mode. Uh, see how it's classic versus math print? Probably, if you have this set as classic, I'm going to down arrow to it and press enter on it. And then do second mode exit out. Probably if I do it now, if I do second data, choose stat variables, choose 3 for SX, push the X squared, press enter, then it leaves it that way. So if you find the uh, fractions kind of uh, tedious, 
then um, it doesn't matter what Texas Instruments calculator you're looking at. Look under the mode and see if there's a way to set it back. Um, again, for press mode, that says classic versus math print. Math print means it tries to put it in fraction form for you. Classic means it leaves it as decimal. And then second mode, exit out. In this video, we took a look at how to find a sample, sample variance on a TI-30XS calculator.